Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets end of day's trading, the 20th of uh, September, Tuesday, 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signal, Signal the market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. And you can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple's App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, market close, let's look at the figures and data, folks, uh, in terms of market closure so bear with me whilst I just bring up the data for you okay so uh, the US markets certainly seem to be in the green at the moment although uh, European markets finished mixed you had the FTSE higher you had the German DAX higher whilst the French CAC finished negative okay now in terms of um, economic data flow let's just have a look at the news flow here folks okay uh, in terms of price action let's just review this Okay, so today's economic data really, I think I discussed the uh, weaker inflation data from Germany, thereby helping European equities, given the fact that Euro is now uh, languishing at the 1.167 level, although it was up to 1.12 earlier on the back of uh, lack of QE commentary, uh, and also with regards to uh, concerns that the ECB will not do any additional easing. Uh, Mr. Pryor certainly has come out and done some damage control today. ECB prior is dovish comments today. If I can just read the latest uh, dovish commentary, if I can just gain access to that uh, again. ECB's prior says we will maintain the very substantial amount of monetary support necessary to fulfill our mandate. So, uh, and also, get obviously, weaker German inflation data certainly, certainly increase the expectations of further QE. Okay, so in terms of the US, really, it was US data really that um, actually certainly moved things to a large extent. Uh, building permits, housing starts on the weaker side, Red Book Index on the weaker side as well. Uh, we had the GDT auction, the global dairy trade auction coming in on the weaker side. So again, weakness in commodities. All prices certainly supported today with bullish commentary from uh, OPEC and non-OPEC individuals. Uh, the latest being the, uh, let me just quickly quote the uh, latest comment with regards to the pro QE let's just have a look here ah oh, yes there was uh, the comments with regards to Russia okay so Russia supports idea of one-year oil stabilization accord so again oil being supported also sterling as well but di dipping below that key 1.30 uh, level so again sterling certainly uh, dipping and therefore helping the um, the actual FTSE higher. So I was certainly stopped out my FTSE trade today only to see, to see it go back to where it originally started. So again, FTSE today is supported and very bullish uh, due to the fact of a weaker sterling and uh, due to the fact of uh, higher oil prices. Now, we've certainly held at 43 level on oil. Whilst we're talking about oil, let's just quickly bring up the price of oil for you as well, folks. Okay, so again, oil certainly seems to be building a base here now. The daily chart, as you can see here, double bottom being held and uh, certainly looking to be supported okay so again looking for a potential move higher okay so double bottom held you, are, you certainly have a doji candle uh, in place 60 minute chart as you can see we've certainly bounced off the low certainly building a base here now to uh, certainly move higher so expect oil prices higher with these uh, pro uh, oil commentary and therefore FTSE obviously will be helped to a large extent as well Okay, looking at the German DAX, let's just see exactly how this uh, uh, unfolded. Uh, daily chart, uh, certainly a topping tail on the daily chart, so again, certainly doesn't bode well. Although, having said that, Deutsche Bank concerns certainly have been alleviated, even though we had the clearing with regards to Wells Fargo, and the chap certainly got grilled there as well. Uh, he was absolutely humiliated. Okay, so again, um, uh, a potential inverted head and shoulders formation in the German DAX, so your left shoulder, head, okay, your right shoulder is in here and therefore looking to potentially close a gap above. So certainly uh, be cautious of the bullish angle. And given talking about bullish angles, it's the BOJ and the FOMC tomorrow. So if they are certainly stimulatory or pro-QE, uh, and again, obviously, Mr. Uh, Arby and Kuroda's uh, joint uh, bazooka, uh, and if that lifts equities, then we know why, because you have an inverted head and shoulders formation on the German DAX targeting the unfilled gap at 10,570, okay? So bear that in mind. 10-minute chart, we certainly held that pivot R3 resistance, which I expected during the day. We certainly flushed into the close, okay, on the German DAX, and given the fact that, again, uh, Miss Merkel's uncertainty, Miss Merkel under pressure, etc., etc., uh, again, all weighing on the uh, actual index. So again, look for uh, a potential... Um, again, you do have an unfilled gap, though, and that certainly is a wild card at 10,280, okay? 
But given the weaker inflation data today and given the fact that we've uh, ignored Deutsche Bank concerns, uh, it certainly looks like we are going higher on the German DAX, okay? Again, let's look at the French CAC now. French CAC really is the strongest out of all of the indices, okay? Given the fact that uh, it certainly has held over bottom uh, and certainly held that horizontal support zone, okay? So again, from my perspective, French CAC really is the strongest and certainly looks like it wants to move higher the quickest. 10 minute chart you are into support on the uh, french cac now okay so you have support around the 4380 zone so watch out for 4380s folks okay 4380 is a key to watch out for and again if you do move start to move higher then you have the resistance zone above which is going to be tested at 4515 so watch out for that uh, key level as well okay so again uh, european stocks helped by a weaker euro as always FTSE 100, let's just go back to the FTSE daily chart, did hold on to that Fib 75% resistance, even though it did knock me out, unfortunately, and then reversed, okay. 60-minute chart on the FTSE, even though we have broken out this uh, rising, uh, contracting wedge pattern, I still expect the FTSE to rally on the back of the number one higher oil price and the number two weaker sterling, okay. So FTSE 100, certainly I expect it to remain well bid, uh, given the fact that it's shown strength, the daily chart is showing, certainly showing strength as well. 10 minute chart at the moment yes it did finish weak towards a close and that certainly isn't a good sign but having said that i do expect you have support around here at uh, 6825 which i've actually gone long on and if that fails then you have 6815 support as well but certainly expecting that 6870 level to potentially be touched again okay certainly be triggered again touched again unless we actually get a massive sell-off in the us which i'm not expecting given the boj although one should expect that given the uh, Wells Fargo incident, but markets certainly have uh, ignored that thus far. I mean, talking about Wells Fargo, I'll certainly try and do a, um, a US market video for that, okay? So that certainly seems to be the situation in the case at present. So let's quickly look at the Euro stocks whilst we're here. Euro stocks, again, one of the reasons why I did actually have a short open from uh, 2980. I closed it for plus 15 due to mainly uh, the inverted head and shoulders formation, okay? We failed to close the gap below at 2.935. I was actually stopped out the other day at 2.980 for minus 40, uh, only to go short again. Okay, so again, looking for weakness in the Euro stocks at present. Okay, so uh, at present you are, sorry, you are into support on Euro stocks at 2.965. Again, the wild card remains at 2.935, whether or not we can close that gap. So just be cognizant of that. It's very important, okay? Daily chart of the Euro stocks. I was expecting 2900 or 2900 to be tagged. That doesn't seem to be the case at the moment. It certainly is being stubborn and uh, the bull certainly coming back in, especially given the fact that the euro now is languishing at 1.165. If anything, that's going to support the uh, the actual uh, equities or European equities to move higher. So bear that in mind. Okay, folks? If anything, it will support the equities. Okay, so... Uh, so it seems like we want to bounce here. Uh, or again, it's whether or not Wells Fargo can have the bearish effect on US equities, which, given the fact that um, over the last two days it hasn't, and it's all about the BOJ, all focuses on that. S&P Europe 350 as well, still showing resilience. Okay, it looks like it wants to bounce from this current region. That certainly has hell bullish engulfing candle. It looks like we're going higher. Okay, so on that note, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus.